What's good, my man in society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Loke. Back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like and comment. It is free. You won't get charged. It's free, bro. It don't cost a damn thing. And that's how you'll help my channel get into the algorithm. I would highly appreciate it. You know, you guys support. You know, you guys would please do me that favor. You know. Um. Now, what I wanted to talk about today was... um. Oh, and if you guys ever have any, you know topics you guys want me to discuss uh you could go ahead and leave um you know suggestions and uh, i'll make sure to you know do that now i was going to talk about this subject on my other channel because you know um the word flats you know how it's attached to the whole gang culture and people being like could be like i thought this channel was to talk about stuff outside of the gangster stuff and the street stuff and everything like that yes and that's why I was going to talk about it in my other channel. But then I realized that it's more of a history lesson than it actually is talking about the whole gang thing, right? Um, because it is a history lesson, right? So the word flats, right? People hear it, um, you know, in neighborhoods. You know, you hear tortilla flats, primera flats, pacoima flats, uh, valinda flats, uh, uh, beach flats. Um, you know, you hear a lot of barrios that have flats attached to them, right? Cuatro flats, you know, some of the more, you know, known neighborhoods. Original neighborhoods that people, you know, have heard the word flats, right? So people are wondering, where does the word flats come from? Well, the word flats actually comes from Russians. Russians? What the hell do they have to do with anything? Sit down and listen. Now, you could believe me or not. It's up to you. You could go and check this yourself. You know, um, I make sure, you know, I got my information right. I uh, have the, you know... The privilege and honor of talking to a lot of veteranos, really old veteranos that are in the game. Um, so, the word flats comes from Russians. Now, what does the word flats mean in Russian? The word flats means uh, um, it's a home that is shared by multiple families, right? Uh, it's a used home that's, you know, for low-income housing, you know, people. Uh, you know, they share this, they share this, um, this home, right? So it was it was uh, labeled uh, to projects, right? Uh, projects, housing units, you know, uh, low income housings and all that. Uh, those areas were considered flats, right? And there was a lot of Russians back then in Los Angeles, and I mean a lot of Russians, uh, you know. And Russians were uh, there in the beginning of the whole gang banging thing, you know. When the Mexican gangs first started, the Russian gangs were also there. Some of the some of the founding members are Russian, you know, Italian, Irish, and and Asian. Of these gangs i'm not making that up bro back then it was you know rasa you had asians you had italians you had russians in these gangs you know those are the facts jewish all of that right because of the whole migration now the reason why, and people were probably wondering why are russians here in los angeles okay so russia is actually tied to los angeles since way back you know, Russia actually in um, 1741, uh, I think it was v Ven Vendes Berling, Ven Vendes Berling, I think was his name. Um, you know, he, you know, you, you know, they, they were exploring, right? They went to Alaska right there and they set, a, they set up shop right there in Alaska, claiming Alaska, right? Uh, but their food, they had food shortages, right? There wasn't enough food and... Um, you know, and supplies, you know, for, for them to maintain right there, right? So they kept exploring, right, from, from the south. They came into California, right? And California back then um, was ruled by Spain, obviously. You know what I mean? Uh, Spain, um, you know, was the one that, you know, was in charge right there. You know what I mean? Uh, but they were in charge of Northern California. Um, nobody was settled in the, in the southern portion of California, um, because I know people were like, nah, well, this was Mexico. Mexicans have always been here. Look, truth of the matter is that back then, not that many Mexicans were in, in, in the California area or like, even like in Texas, uh, not that many Raza were there. It was mostly Native Americans, bro. There was hardly any, any Raza there. Very few little, you know, patches, you know, but very few. And those are the facts, bro. You know, I'm proud to be Raza. Trust me. But I just can't lie. I have to come and be honest right here. So there was nobody up in this. You know what I mean? Um, so Russia, you know, decided to, hey, well, shit, if nobody's right here, then we're going to take it over. Right? And um, and Spain seen this, right? Spain, because they were in Northern California, they seen this. And uh, Jose uh, del, del, del Gades, I think I think that Jose del Gades, um, you know, seen this, right? 
And he's like, hey, man, we got to start, you know, rolling down, um, you know, to we have to start rolling down um, to Southern California because, you know, the Russians are already, you know, they, they're getting too close. You know what I'm saying? So then that's when King Charles of, of Spain uh, said, yes, yeah, Simone, you know, hey, go, go, you know, go try to handle that. Right. Um, but Russians had already settled right there, um, you know, because Spain was having their its own problems. You know what I mean? With uh, with Mexico, they had their own problems with Mexico. Right. So Russia, this, you know, established right there in Los Angeles. So they found in Los Angeles, I guess you could say. Uh, I mean, like settled. They they were the first ones to settle like in Los Angeles. As a matter of fact, they had even named the Los Angeles River was called the Russian River. The um, what's that shit called? The Bodega Bay was actually known as the Gulf of Re revolt revolix i don't know it was some russian guy right um so they had already named the spots and they were already right there well established you know what i mean uh in los angeles you know what well, well, was early los angeles but before los angeles was los angeles they had a different name um anywho um and that was around um that was around uh 18 1821 1821 is when they said that we're established right here and this is ours and everything like that but if you guys know your history you already know 1821 is a significant it's a significant day for us right because that that is when uh we became free of Spain Mexico became free of Spain right so we are no longer under their 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 bull jive you know what i mean so now we finally independent my boy so you know what that means we considered California and that part, ours, you know, hey, that's, that's ours, homie, that ain't yours, so then there was issues between the Mexicans and the Russians, right, but the Russians, since Russia's more further away, you know, their homeland, they were short on supplies yet again, because they were starting to barely build out, uh, out, uh, um, 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 homes and, you know, get everything going, right, um, you know, plants, food, um, all of that, um, got tongue twisted, uh, these phone calls. <laughs> um, so they were really starting to set up shop, right? So Mexico was like, Chales, homie, this is ours. You know, y'all you, got to get a step in. So Russia had no choice but to pack up and, and bounce, my boy. Because, you know, they couldn't go up against Mexico. Mexico was too strong, you know, because obviously they were their, their reinforcement, all that was. And they just didn't see it worth it, right? Um, so they were just like, ah, you know, screw it. So, you know, Mexico finally, you know you know, established, and, you know, you guys know the history after that, you know, um, so that's why Russia was already aware of, you know, you know, the area, right, so then, right, it was already established, so then, when, when we had, um, you know, when they were having their problems in, in, um, uh, where they're at, Russia and all of that, right, you've seen a, a, a wave of immigrants, Russian immigrants, you know, that fled to the United States, right, for a better life, for freedom, and, and because they didn't want to deal with all the bullshit that was going down in their hometown. Um, so they decided to, you know, to come down over here, right? Uh, because, like I said, they were already aware of the area because of, you know, of the history or whatever. So they came down here. Um, so, you know, obviously they settled in these areas, you know, amongst, you know, Raza and everything like that. But at this time now, you already had white, you know, whites that were already, you know, you know, they had already, you know, taken over, you know, in a sense. Well, no, well, you know, it, it, California was now America. It wasn't no longer Mexico. But I mean that there was a lot of white. See, people always leave or seem to forget this. There was a lot of whites here in California, bro. How people see it now. Yeah, you see mostly raza. Back then, you had like five whites for every one raza or for every one minority. So you were outnumbered by a lot, bro. By a lot. They used to have they used to have Nazi parades, my boy, it, right here in, in Boyle Heights on, on Brooklyn Avenue. They used to have Nazi parades, bro. And I mean the streets were like this of people, bro. Whites. You know what I mean? Even in the Zutsu riots and all of that. You know, even though we were standing our ground, homies were getting their asses kicked, bro, because they were outnumbered. That's how many white folks there was before here. Yeah, and that through times, the white folks packed up and they, they bounced, homie. But back then, they were heavily outnumbered, meaning minorities, right? So the Raza was getting picked on. Jewish were getting picked on. Italians, Russians, they were all getting mistreated, right? Bam, you know, they were getting, you know, harassed. So these group of individuals banded together to form these gangs to defend themselves, right? So in the area of um, Boyle Heights, right, um, where the uh, Pico Aliso housing project, before they were even there and all that, right, that area, um, 
It was known as the Russian Flats because that's where all the Russians migrated there. But you know when my, you know immigrants come, they seem to uh, gravitate all to one area. <laughs> so that area was full of pure Russians, right? And some Rasa families mingled in between and and all of that sprinkled in and whatever. Um, so that area was known as Russian Flats, and I already told you where the word flats comes from. You know, it's in, in Russia, it's considered a, a home that's shared by you know many families and stuff like that. Low income housing um, it is what they they refer to it as flats, flat homes. Um, so that's where the Rasa, you know, got the word flats from, right? Because they were used to flats being, you know, described as these areas. So that's why when they came and they demolished that area, right, to build, uh, the, the freeway passing and all of that, and these families now moving and packing up and leaving, these Hispanics, uh, still had that, uh, that concept in mind, right? So when they started their gangs, you know, Primera Flats, Cuatro Flats, Tortilla Flats, um, the flats word actually came from the original, uh, um, the original title that they had that, you know, that because these were their camaradas or these Russians were their, their camaradas. So Russia had, Russians had a lot to play with when it came to, uh, where did the names originate from or how did the word flats come about? Well, that's a Russian, uh, word that was, you know, given by the Russians, you know, that these, now these neighborhoods represent these Hispanic gangs. And that is the true history of where the word flats comes from. What does it mean? And, and how it's tied to Russia and everything like that. Fun fact. But I'm just saying, uh, those are my opinions. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. MC Shadow, we out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, boy.